a weird... It's like it's, a medicine taste, isn't it? Yeah, it tastes like a diluted drink. Just because you're in your own matrix and you're depressed and all that and other people got happiness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't try to put your sadness onto them. People. That's what they say. Yeah. Stay with positive people. Positive energy with mm. positive people like myself and Musty. Welcome back, welcome back to Father in the Room for another episode. It's your host, the bearded mogul, and we've got Jimmy. Jimmy in the building. Yes, yes, how we doing? <laughs> Good, mate, how we? How we? Yeah. How's it been? It's been hot, isn't it? <laughs> very hot, man, very, very hot. Hope you guys, room. hope you guys are not complaining every time. <laughs> they always complain, don't they? We have a miserable weather in the UK, Honestly, don't we? I'm loving the it. most depressing weather. If you want to be depressed, you come to the UK. Yeah. Always grey and gloomy. And when the sun comes out, enjoy it. But when the yeah. sun comes out, the British people complain. It's Start too hot. Why are you complaining? Enjoy it. You only got two days of summer. Exactly. Get your <laughs> you want to be brown like us, right? You envy us secretly inside. That's why you hate us. I know. Yeah. There you go. go to the tanning um, <laughs> uh, saloons. You get yourself tanned up to be brown like us. And then you racial stereotype us. Already kicking off. <laughs> it's that like minute in we're kicking off racism oh, no, man it's tate we've got the tate effect we've got the yeah tate it's called the tate effect yeah yeah that's i think that, that's a new a new terminology now yeah but today what we got uh we've got a new video from mr tate i don't know what it's called it's an emergency meeting is it the tate brothers <laughs> the tate brothers so we've not reacted to the tate brothers yet nah with not with his brother so yeah so let's see what the meeting is about yeah. Yeah, let's see. So let's, let's, let's go on. Let's uh, see what we're talking about. Emergency meetings are the core of our monumental success. The cherries in the chat for Christina. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, know, you know, let me tell you guys every something about life. And I, this is some genuine life advice. And Scott, if you're watching this too. They look like twins, don't they? They look, look exactly the same. I don't know what the age difference is between them two. Who's older? I have no idea. I I have, it might be Andrew Tate. That looks like Tate with hair, and that's uh, t uh, his What's his name? <sighs> no disrespect, man. We, we only know him, uh, Andrew Tate. Brother Andrew. Yeah. yeah. So, so we need to find out this brother's name as well. I think it's Christian. Christian. Brother Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is Christian. I don't know. I don't right, know. anyway, let's go on. Yeah, Maybe they'll mention it. This is for you. It is, because we can give good advice. I can give good advice. And, Scott, so fucking and Scott, I have nothing personal against you. Like, you're a skinny old man. You wore an oxygen monitor. You're just a dork. It's not like a big deal that you're a geek. You're plenty a of geek. them. Plenty of dorks. You're just, you're just well known. Just, yeah, you're just a well known. Loads nerd. of old skinny dudes were doing that at home. They just don't have Twitter. <laughs> yeah, you're just a nerd, yeah. right? But winning in and of itself never, ever gets old. Like, yeah. being the guy who just endlessly wins, people think, oh, but there must be something he ain't happy about, or he, yeah. he can't be that happy. I promise. When your life just goes well all the time and you're big and strong and rich and you do whatever you want and you steal everyone's wife and you mm. sit around with your brother laughing about it <laughs> and smoking $500 cigars in your mansion, mm. flying around on private jets, oh, just yeah. doing whatever you want. I promise it never gets old. Ever. It mm -hmm. never gets old because Ever. everyone else loses, right? Everyone else, like Scott, gets to sit there and pretend there's something. And then their wife cheats on him in public and he gets to be made fun of. And mm -hmm. none of this shit happens to me. The biggest attempt, people are like, oh, well, the bad things happen to you because you're a misogynist. <laughs> you think, I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. So, yeah, so, I don't care. Exactly. I do backflips into my pool. But once, you, yeah. once, once you're rich, I don't give the shit about anyone else. Who cares, me? Who cares? I don't care now. I don't care about your opinions, <laughs> what you think of me, or how life evolve around you, or how life should be the way yeah. you think it should be. No, I don't care. I can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Isn't That's it? it, isn't it? Do what you yeah. want. Yeah, I got the money. I got the chicks. I got the, the everything. I got everything. Top needs. man, top dog. Yeah. Look at him. He's saying it. People can hate on him. Yeah, yeah. They, they will. They hate him. Yeah. They, they hate him because he speaks the truth. Exactly. Anyone who drops facts, drops the truth bombs, you are hated. Just because you can't have what he's got, you're going to just take the piss out of him. Yeah, because they all start calling him a fraudster and all that. Call no? him a fraudster. Say uh, the Hustlers University is a scam. But all these things, he's legitimately proven that these things work. Yeah. He's uh, told you step by step how he's become rich. How he's made it, mm. and uh, he's not shy. No, he's not shy. Telling us 
he said, he said uh, uh, I did it through webcams. Yeah. And uh, he never... Uh, and people say, oh, you exploited the women. Mm. No, you didn't. Or you never paid them in. No, you treated yeah. them well. You treated yeah, them well. Like he said in his own words, it was a business transaction. Yeah. So they knew they got paid well. Mm-hmm. They, they're getting treated better than they'll get treated in KFC or McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> and I, I can see this brother treating them well. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, yeah. he, At the end of the day, it's a business. He needs yeah. his business to run. So he treats his employees. Yes, exactly. Yeah. His yeah. employees are the assets. Yes. So they are in front. He needs to make sure his employee is in good health, mental health, good looking health mm-hmm. so that they bring they the cash cow they bring the cash in yeah so why would he be stupid enough not to treat him well exactly so use your brain yeah let's continue oh that's what i do either in my in my house in can or my house in bucharest or my house in dubai nothing changes i'm just i'm doing backflips my life's good people don't understand oh yeah we know that everything's good, good in life all of the time yeah, people don't understand how happy how happy we actually are. Did you know what it happy? is? Happy, I think yeah. it's one of the big forms of cope. People have their little bits of happiness in the world. So they have, for example, a a a, a kid, a daughter, and they have a dog, and they're like, "Oh well, you know, Tristan, you fucking got the millions of dollars and all the beautiful women and the fast cars, and you're tall and you're strong." Tristan, Tristan, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Tristan. Yeah, <laughs> brother Tristan, not Christian. Sounds yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm sure you can forgive us. Yeah, yeah. And I do apologize, Tristan. <laughs> yes. Now we will know who you are. <laughs> well, we already know who you are, but know your name from now on. <laughs> Wrong, and all the women want you, but you know, I've got my daughter and my dog. Money can't buy that. Motherfucker, I've got a daughter and a dog too. And I've got all that shit. <laughs> it's some of the same on there. By assuming people who live lives like us are in any way unhappy. That mm. is just the, the matrix trying to brainwash oh, yeah. you into thinking, oh, don't worry about trying to be like them. Just go to work, mm. buy your dog, and be broke and you'll be that's what i was trying to say right. uh, yeah <laughs> yeah just because you're in your own matrix and you're depressed and all that and other people got happiness yeah yeah, yeah. don't try to put your sadness onto them yeah, yeah. that's true that's what's <laughs> happening people yeah. are uh, mirroring portraying their sadness yeah. onto us. why are you happy yeah i don't want to see you happy mate exactly right that's so how here's my sadness yeah i'm gonna throw it on you mate you are sad i'm sad mm-hmm. we're both sad that's it. Sad life. That, that's that's how people. That's what they say. Yeah. Stay with positive people. Positive energy with mm-hmm. positive people. Like myself and Musty. Yeah, that's it, man. Stick with those, man, and you'll be a happy person. Even though we drop bombs, two bombs they are. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Take them in. Take that big deep breath and say, yes. The bearded mogul and Jimmy are <laughs> dropping some truth bombs, and I, yeah, I need, take it. I Just need to change my life. We need to change That's our it. lives. Truth and hurts, need, as you yeah, say, isn't it? Yeah. Truth hurts. We all need to think positively, and stop putting other people down, and stop becoming envious of people who are already rich and made it because they got off their fucking asses and made that money, and you couldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Facts. Yeah. Mashallah, brother. Yeah. Mashallah, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Be happier because money can't buy the love a dog with. Like people make up the the worst excuses. The bi- mm. the biggest psyop, and this is going to be a good ending point. The biggest psyop that the wealthy elites and the people who win at life ever committed mm-hmm. was to convince you that money doesn't buy happiness. Mm. If money doesn't buy happiness, why do rich people never give their money away? They all want their money. They all want their money. Was that, was that Biggie song? The more money we come across, no, the more but, problems. He kept all his money. Yeah, he loved money. Song. He didn't <laughs> give it away. Money is like water, right? It won't make you happy in and of itself, but if you go without it for very long, you're gonna start really wanting it. You're still gonna really still want it. Mm-hmm. You're gonna start really wanting a drink. So the point is that if you go without money, it's all you think about. Now, when you have money That's in true. and of itself, if you have money, but you're still fat like Ethan, yeah, you're gonna be unhappy. Mm. But money's an important part of life. Mm. And don't let people who are hyper successful in every sphere, don't let people like me and Tristan who are in fit, f- fantastic physical shape, fantastic <laughs> financial shape, with good brotherhood, with a good network, living a fantastic life don't sit there and look at us and go there must be something they don't like instead go their life is perfect and <laughs> that's a point that i made there about yeah. brotherhood yeah now you don't see a lot of people in this generation today mm. are working in like if they got family they will never work with their brother mm. yeah they will always say oh stay it's, away it's, from the, opposite. Yeah, like it's said, the opposite like don't work with your family don't yeah. work and i can understand that mm-hmm. i can understand that yeah but look at the uh the connection that these two got, got as you know, and mm. a lot of people, 
say how do you keep that connection together as brothers and that's the envy people yeah. envy that yeah. they, they want do. that so mm. the envy and just like, because they couldn't between yeah. them too? just because they never had it with their own family just because they couldn't build a business with their own brother mm. uh, in the household or they uh, drove their family member away mm. yeah and that family members made money and uh, they haven't and then now they you know running after him etc and yeah. there's arguments or they built a business yeah they built a business and it's broken apart over money. Mm. You know, oh, I wanted this much. And the wife gets involved and, you know, all this stuff. How these guys are doing it is how it's meant to be done. Yeah, I think they, they've they got a blueprint. Mm. Look at it, like, even like, the Muslims, man, we should be even closer. Of course. Like, the brothers yeah. should be even yeah. closer. This guy I'm talking about blood brothers here. Yeah, this guy's portraying Islam more than uh, us Muslims, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the way they uh, how to do business. All right, fair enough. He does his uh, nitty gritty little things that we shouldn't yeah. be doing in it. But he is more onto Islam. Yeah, in business and how to look after people, uh, uh, money wise, giving to charity, uh, treating his employees, everything, and it all make, it makes for a better businessman. And that's why he is. And that's why he's successful. And that's why he's successful. Yeah. Right. So. You know, uh, like I said, his brother. Like you know, not everyone can do that. Mm. It's, it's, it, I think once he said before as well, like uh, people find it strange that him and his brother, and I, I'm coming back to women again. Like, don't think I'm attacking women all the time. Yeah. <laughs> women think, right, if we, if their brother's like this, mm. or like me and yourself, yeah. and then the, the missus or whatever, they start getting jealous or something, right? Mm -hmm. Why are you with him all the time? What's going on? Mm. Are you gay? I not? Yeah. What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> it's a friend, mate. Yeah, yeah. Right? Keep your opinions to yourself. Mm. Shut up. Go yeah. back to the kitchen, start cooking, yeah? Yeah. If you don't like it, get, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Don't need you. You can't you can't abide to Look, my laws. We're men my rules. We go out yeah. into the to the to the forest. Mm. I'm gonna go out with my main man. Mm. And we're gonna gather wood. I need a man. I can't have you yeah. to come out with me to carry that wood. Cause you're useless. You can't do it. Yeah. I'm gonna go, oh, it's heavy. Nice. I need my man here yeah. to go out to the woods. With me Yeah I don't want a woman Nagging behind me Telling me shit Yeah I need to get my nails done I need to get my nails done I need this and Shut up yeah. We need to uh, get, Gather some wood <laughs> The kids are hungry at home Exactly Go home Get in the kitchen And cook Cook for the family So when I get home That food needs to be on the table Nice and warm And the kids Need to be fed That's your job You need to maintain the household The home Make a beautiful home. It's an important role. We keep seeing it. It's vital. We might be to coming across a bit harsh, but that's the only way to get across you women. You don't take it, but you, you, you think that you can run all over us. And once a man's out of it, you can't do fuck all. I'll tell you that right now. You think you can be independent just because you've got a bit of money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and just because you that's can stand on your two feet. That's the jazz plan. And no, you You're running love. to him. Yeah. The prophet told us we're going to have to tie you guys down, and that's what we're going to do. Mm. The real men are going to do that. Of course. The pussies are not going to do that. They're going to let you go and run loose. Yeah. If we let you run loose, I mean, you'll be having a different man every single day. And until you find that, oh, I've not found my right man yet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for that connection. I uh, know. Right, let's go. On. <laughs> I want that. Because the second one will motivate you. The first one allows you to cope and make excuses yep. to not try. You have to try harder or you're never going to win. And the truth is we so, talk in an abrasive way sometimes and we and we put our message across in a very strange way. But I, I really like the messages and people say true. Yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what, like we said, we just came across. We might come across abrasive, but we tried to get that message out there in a gym. They won't listen though. Do you think you're going to sit down, darling? Um, you know what? I think we should start switching roles here. Um, you cook for the family, mm -hmm. yeah, and I'll go out and work. How how would that go down? Oh, yeah, it wouldn't go down well. So right, like... <laughs> so we have to say it, and we have to be brash. We have to be harsh. And it's like that in the white community. Oh, darling, are you okay today? What do you need? You want? Uh, you... And the man's a pussy in a white household. A woman wears <laughs> a woman wears the pants, and I tell you that, and I've seen it many times. It's happening in the Asian community <laughs> so now, bro. Yeah. Come on, man, it's happening. Yeah. Even in the brown Asian community. They, they, they're watching they too, many, too many dramas and they think that they no, can... They, they, yes, the dramas and yeah. it's all this society just brainwashing them. Uh, that It's the woman that's in charge. And the man is buying that story. Yeah. That the woman should be in charge. It's safer for me. It's easier for me in my life for the woman. No, mm. it's not, mate. Because that's how households fuck up. Yeah. 
by letting the woman make a decision. They can't make decisions. They're not mm. made to make decisions. Mm. So let the man do the decision making. Yeah. yeah. Tristan, you have inspired me. Tristan, I, I, I have my first kickboxing fight coming up. You have inspired me. This is what you were doing when See, you were young. I want to learn how to fight. I want to be mm. strong and fit when I'm older. I don't want to look like Ethan. I don't want to look like completely. So, so I, it, it's cool. I'm trying to inspire. We love. If you're mentally strong, you're physically strong. Mm. Yeah. If you're mentally weak, you know, how are you going to, like this guy said, I'm inspired by words. All right. He's, so he's, he's inspiring other people. Yeah. Some people are saying to him, aren't they? Uh, yeah. So these two brothers, they're inspiring other people phys uh, no, uh, mentally. Mentally. Mentally, yeah. Mm. Now these people are becoming stronger physically as yeah, well. Yeah. yeah. Because they're taking the advice on. Yeah, that's what men do. We take the advice. Yeah, if someone's better or superior, and we take that advice mm. and we become superior. That's it. Yeah, women, they don't take that advice. No, they go, no, it's me and uh, me only. That's it. Yeah, what's that movie called? Me, myself, me, myself, and me. Me, myself, and I. Or something. Yeah, me, myself, or and Irene I. That's, or that's what a woman is. Isn't it? Is. They think you're all it, and you think you can do whatever you want. No, you can't. That's why we never put you as in leadership positions. Even the elite don't want, want women in the leadership positions. That's why it's just getting forced now. <laughs> it's like uh, movies like Ghostbusters. They put women in, yeah. cast women in. You just fucked it all up. Mm. Mm. Like never watch that now again. 007, We want uh, the new double. Uh, why new Bond to be a woman? Why? Why are you forcing it on? Yeah. If it's meant to be a woman, okay. Yeah. If it's not meant to be, why are you forcing that woman? And then they're going to force it. And then we're going to go down a rabbit hole of mm. LGBTQ. We need a gay bloody superhero. Now they've got a movie release with a, a Muslim uh, girl as a superhero. Mm -hmm. It's all bullshit. Yeah. It's all crap. Yeah. When people win. And what we do is we live by example, right? We're absolute winners and we love when people win. And when you're a winner, you want others to win. Yeah. I don't. I, I, Top point. See, men, once you become successful, they want others, others to become successful. Uh, because okay. if they are successful, mm -hmm. they'll make the whole community successful and then the whole town and then the whole country. Yeah. But when women win, they only want to be rich themselves. Win, win for themselves <laughs> to it. show other women, <laughs> yeah. look at me. I'm I've got the it. Balenciaga and yeah, all this I'm shit rich. they got. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the, uh, the uh, what do you call them? Uh, oh, I can't even remember the name for these rich wag, or wags or whatever you call them. <laughs> uh, there's plenty of room up here at the top, gentlemen. There's plenty of room. Yep. You need to look at our lives and be inspired by it. If you're looking at our lives and trying to find some stupid excuse why our life is <laughs> That's bad, what majority by doing seeing it. us surrounded by beauty queens on a yacht yeah, in a yeah. can and then going, well, they're misogynist or they must so, have paid yeah. them. I don't pay women. Shut the, they, they just want to come on our <laughs> boat. We're famous. That's and it. Cool. Yeah. And to prove my point, and, and that's what happens when you become a like this elite kind of man, mm -hmm. a man of his word, a man like successful. Yeah. Yeah. Women will come to you. Of course. Yeah. So it's the natural, it's natural. And they're going to come to you and they're coming for one reason mm -hmm. and that's money. Yeah. And that's why these guys, again, like you said, they don't pay them. Mm. They don't need to. Yeah. They're going to come for that Instagram. That's, shit. They just want that. Uh, yeah. It's again, like you said, it's all social media. Lifestyle to show lifestyle, a lifestyle, isn't it? That's it. Look, I'm on a yacht today. Let me hang around with the rich and let me just show other people that I'm rich. Yeah. Well, you're not. You're hanging around with someone that's rich. You're not rich. You're not getting paid, love. You're doing it just to please other yeah. people. You're a fake. And uh, all that, all that crystal and all that crap. It's you aren't paid for it. These guys, are these guys it. are paying for it. You They're splashing that. out. Yeah. It's an alpha male. That's paid if you're for gonna that. do it, at least put some credibility to do towards these yeah, guys. Yeah, pay for it yourself. Yeah. I will mention that this guy paid for it. At least do that. Yeah, Let's put some credit in like yeah. we have to do on YouTube. Credit people. <laughs> yeah. You put a credit in as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Me and Andrew have never, ever, ever, just for no reason, started talking shit about some YouTube guy until they start it first and we analyze these people. Yeah. Why? Unhappy people do that. If I watched YouTube mm. and found somebody who I disagreed with, and me and Andrew made a whole fucking episode about someone who we've never even met, oh, this person, uh, and I think he's bad. That's mm. what unhappy people do. We yeah, don't yeah. care about it. We, we, we just respond to you nerds, but we don't actually <laughs> give a fuck. I've never seen an Ethan. I have video. 26 supercar. I've got things to do. Yeah. Why would I care <laughs> about going through YouTube trying to find someone who's misogynist and make yeah, controversial yeah. views? We need money from YouTube. <laughs> yeah, money. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's embarrassing. Shit, so yeah, jokes, man.
it is possible to be happy and, and, and have a wonderful life and have everything. And there, there, there isn't something missing. You mm. need to <laughs> affirm to the universe, gentlemen. You need to wake up every day and you need to talk to the universe as if yeah. it was Alexa or Siri. Ooh. You need to say, Another. I want to see how good life can get. I've been saying this all the time. And I thought that my life was already perfect two or three years ago. And still it keeps getting better. Oh, yeah. My life keeps getting better. Now, mm. I, life isn't a straight line, right? I didn't get to the top in a straight line. I had bumps, bruises, I had setbacks. setbacks. Yeah, I got cut up, I got stabbed. I had a lot of problems, mm. but here I am at the top. Life's not a straight line, but every single day I say, I wanna see how good life can get and God keeps providing. He keeps making me richer. He, I retain my wealth, yeah. I retain my health. I make better friends. I have amazing relationships. I have love in my life. Everything goes well for me all of the time. I can't explain in human words how fantastic my life is. I wouldn't mm. change a thing. Mm -hmm. and, and that's because I affirm it. You have to believe that perfection is possible. You can live the perfect life. Of course. You can live the absolute dream life, but your dream life ain't going to happen if you're fucking broke. Yeah. You need money plus a bunch of other things. Dreaming isn't a, enough. Yeah, but money's a good place to start. Yeah. So you need to be living, living the high life, gentlemen. The high life exists. Me and Tristan are up here. We're waiting for some of you cats to get up here with us. We're coming. Andrew Tate. We are coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We are. But, yeah, on a serious note, though, like obviously, the, a lot of points he said, right? But for us, we're Muslims as well. Yeah. Right? So, true happiness only comes from the remembrance of Allah. Like you said, a good point in it. Speak to the universe. Yeah. We're Muslims. Speak to your creator. Yeah. Wake Mashallah, up in the morning. brother. Another one. Wake up in the morning. In the Quran, it says. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, remember me during the day, during, in the morning and the night, before you wake, uh, after you wake up and before you go to sleep. So speak to your creator. Mm. Ask him what you want in life and That's he'll it. give it to you. He's, it. he's more closer to you than your juggler Wayne. Mm. So ask him anything and he will give. It okay. might not come straight away. It's not like uh, uh, God will just wave uh, a magic wand and bam, that is, yeah, no, yeah. you got it. It comes with patience and time. When it's the right time for you to get that thing where you're asking, it will come. Don't become depressed. Don't feel down. Don't feel stressed. Just ask your Lord and do what you need to do to achieve your goals that you set out for that day and for your life going forward. That's it. I mean, there's uh, like there's a hadith in the Qudsi, innit? Mm. Where Allah says, uh, don't tie, like don't tire your heart. Mm -hmm. Like put your heart with Allah. Yeah. Trust Allah. No, subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah? yeah. Trust him. But tie you your limbs, mm. get your legs and arms. So meaning that you got to work out there. Like these guys yeah, worked yeah. hard. Like they, they had setbacks. They had all sorts. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to work hard and then trust Allah. And like I said, talk to the creator, talk to the universe and it will come. Yeah. It will happen mm -hmm. no matter what. If Allah can provide uh, food for a bird, yeah. uh, it goes out hungry, come back for food for its chicks. Mm -hmm. What's throwing a bread to you? Exactly. Nothing. Think about it. You've survived until this day today. How you've done it. Even if you're broke and you've got not a single penny to your name, how are you living today? That's it. Think Same. about it. Don't think that you're gonna that suicide will be the uh, answer because you got nothing. You're you're 60 years old. You're 50 years old. You're 30 mm. years old. Whatever age you are, and you got no money to your name, but you're you're alive today. How is that possible? Because Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has That's made it. it possible. Thank and yeah. praise him. Thank and praise him. If you survive 60 years less, I'm just giving a number, 60 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, the next 30, 10, 15, 20 years, you'll survive as well. Yeah. You're, and and don't and don't and don't make dunya your th top thing. Mm. And I know we're reacting to him. Yeah. Uh, and he's a top G, he's a top dog. Mm. But for him, he you know, he believes in God and stuff. And but you know, for us we have a different purpose in life. Hmm. So don't always put dunya because if you don't get that dunya, Allah may not have planned that for you. Hmm. So if you don't get it, you're gonna get depressed, commit suicide. That's it. That's why in Japan they work their asses off. Hmm. They work about hundred hours a week, and the, the the highest rate of suicide is in Japan. That's it. Yeah. Because they, they don't believe in nothing. If they don't, because they're not successful, hmm. they'll get to where they wanna be. Boom, kill myself. Kill myself. They got nothing else to live for. Yeah. It's crazy. You know what? I'm getting thirsty, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, oh, you've yeah. seen this throughout the video, right? We're not sponsored by them, yeah. right? It's just come to the UK, hasn't it? So. Yeah. We're not getting paid for these guys. Yeah, that's, that's the fair. only reason why we bought this on is because I've seen a video of uh, people going crazy when K I'm KSI, trying. was it? KSI. Yeah, yeah. Logan. So we thought, let's just go and grab one and let's try it. Let's have a little sip. 
and then we'll finish so up. So I've got the lemon and lime, you've got the uh, uh, tropical punch. Tropical punch. Well, yeah. there. Sponsors are us if you want, you know. Yeah, look, uh, Logan get Paul is this Okay, so get in touch, man. Yeah, get in touch and let's try your drink Sweet. out. Bismillah. It's a weird one, isn't it? I'm trying to I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Let me try yours. <laughs> yeah. Can't put my finger on it. It looks like it. It, it tastes, tastes a bit of a weird. It's like a medicine taste, isn't it? Yeah, it tastes like a diluted drink. Isn't it? Can yeah, this it? one, you can, you can... The lime kicks in. What's this tropical, yeah? Tropical punch. It's not bad, you know. Blah! <laughs> Mm. I, I didn't mind that, you know. I think it's an acquired taste. Nah, I think nah, it's a quiet nah. taste. Nah, I hate the tropical much. Uh, the lime is okay, yeah. But I think it, just because it's uh, uh, a bit warm, I think it'll taste better when it's cold. Oh, yeah. Could yeah. be. Uh, but he's doing well. He's doing yeah. well. Yeah. He's doing well launching his uh, drink. So, yeah. Uh, good luck. Yeah, good luck. If you guys are looking for it, it's in Asda. Uh, pound fifty. And yeah, it's all right. Yeah, but for now, that's everything from us. Leave your comments in the section below uh, and let us know what your thoughts are. Keep liking, keep subscribing, and keep sharing. Peace out.